Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. I'm the series strategy gamer and we are returning to Let's Play of Command Modern Operations. We are playing a conflict between China and the United States in the South Chinese Sea just off the Philippine coast over here. And things are going, uh, well they have just heated up uh, with an engagement between the Philippines Navy and uh, the Chinese Navy in the form of this frigate over here. Uh, they are going into a gunnery duel over here in min in the midst of some civilian traffic uh, while our ships are converging on them. So that's going to be kind of interesting. We do have further ships that are coming in. So let's see about that. We also have a UAV. Sorry, oh no. What's our UAV? Oh, it's over here. Um, which is around. And just at the end of the last episode, we did spot some Japanese, some Chinese a patrol aircraft here. This is a little bit of an old aircraft, 1987 in fact. So they're lagging behind a little bit in that capabilities, but I'm fairly confident that this is not going to be the only ship. So we'll need to be careful with that. Nevertheless, we have scrambled a couple of Super Hornets. Uh, we are going to bring them over this vicinity here on sort of the best route that they can take. I'm very concerned about how the operations here are going to... Whoa. I'm going to update. Um, there is a bit of a... Okay, you know what? Um, I do need to turn that down a little bit. Excuse me while I do that. So let's... Uh, it's... it's This game just very barely uh, is, is functional in, in some sense. But yeah, you can see these guys are shooting it out uh, with each other. Now the interesting bit is, it looks like the Philippines, na Philippines, Philippine Navy is actually uh, getting a little bit the better of uh, this guided missile frigate here. It is scoring more hits, uh, whereas these guys, well they are taking some systems damage now. But that is going to be uh, kind of interesting to see how that develops. Now there's a lot of shipping here that I that we don't know really what they are about, but at least some of these guys, for example this one here, they have a fairly high, uh, fairly high speed. So uh, let's take a little bit of a berth of this one here with our uh, UAV, try to find out what they, these guys are all about. And I guess we can actually move our submarine in this vicinity at least as well. Uh, let's make sure that you're creeping, or at least, yeah, I think cruising is fine. The cavitation starts at 28 knots, so that's good. That's fairly high. Yeah, Philippines, the Philippine Navy are holding out here fairly well. Seems like this guy has lost a bit of uh, speed. Now, what, one thing that we could do, we've got our Olo Boca class destroyer down here. And you're doing fine, right? So what we could do though is take the aircraft and launch this guy here. This is um, a Seahawk with a couple of Hellfire missiles. Only eight of them. They are not the best, but I think uh, they might help out in an engagement like that. Obviously, until we reach that point, we might or might not actually be able to uh, take them out. But um, let's see. Maybe we're going to be of some help here. I'm going to accelerate a little bit the timing. And uh, let's see what is going to happen. Now this of course does relate to the uh, recent incursions around this area down here. By the way, all of this is now showing as hostile, which I think is, is interesting. Um, I'm very sorry, I'll have to... I'll have to turn off the sounds here uh, while this gun battle is going on. Uh, because this is just a little bit too annoying. Right, um, but you can see these guys are still ducking it out. Um, let's go a little bit faster still. I think that's going to be alright. Probably it's going to be alright to have the UAV here circling around our destroyer. I think that's pretty much where it's going to be the safest. It is also pretty high, so that's fine. It's probably what is currently spotting this aircraft here. But yeah. Well, we, you know what? We've got the Super Hornets here. Let's bring them up. Oh, look at that. There's more. There's more aircraft appearing over here. And I'm guessing that they are starting from this second side here. That is that is kind of interesting. So that is the parcel islands down here, which are currently more or less controlled, more or less effectively controlled by the Chinese. Look at that! This this patrol boat I did not expect it to fare so well. This is just like what 700 tons ship. How many people are actually on here? 31 and you are holding your own against this guy pretty well and he's like twice your size 
And a lot more crew. Interesting, I did not expect that. What's your weapon actually? So you've got 100mm, two 100mm guns. Whereas you've got certainly something smaller. 76mm maybe? Yeah, 76. Interesting that, that you're doing well to here. But maybe you did score a lucky early hit. Does happen. It's not very typical, but it does happen. Right, uh, we have launched the helicopter. And because I've turned off the sound, so we didn't really see it. Uh, let's bring it up here. And uh, let's go there at cruise speed. You should have the range. 150 miles or so. Yeah, that is within range. So that's good. Ooh, look at that. That over here indicates to me that this this group over there that does not look friendly you're going at 25 knots yeah i think we're on a good intercept course here actually already we've got all of these guys here they are j10 so relatively modern chinese fighter somewhat across uh, along the lines of the typhoon maybe or the rafale Maybe an F-16 like craft. We've got these strata tankers. I do want to get them out of the way of these guys because if the shooting wall starts here, we really do need them to be out of the way. Right, uh, we also should potentially turn off the range here of air weapons. So yeah, you can see these guys are fighters, but they're not only fighters, they're multi-role aircraft, so they will have some ability to do some other things as well. Um, you guys can lag it over here. You're already flanking, that's good. I'm very concerned about enemy submarines, but there's only so much that we can do. We could run with active sonar, but that would also draw their attention pretty badly towards us, so I'm not entirely sure we want that. You know what, with that many aircraft in the air though, what we're going to do is we're going to launch more aircraft here, more Super Hornets from Singapore. Um, and I'm guessing we're going to launch these guys here as a group of four. Now, we know already that this flight here, two Super Hornets, they do have 840 miles to run until they're getting anywhere. Now, that does mean that compared to your bingo fuel range, it's very limited. You probably need to turn around, or you have very little engagement time. Now, the strata tank is here. They're going to be useful to extend that range. Um, we do need to pull you south a little bit, and probably we will need more of these, and we will need them in the air, especially before that large, groups, uh, large group comes back. So let's take at least, you know what, I think I think let's at least launch two guys over here. We're going to launch them individually so we can group them together with that flight over here. Flight 377. Let's look at how this is looking down here. Ooh, we'll need to think about that in a second. Right, but what's going on over here? So this guy has been pretty much torched by the Philippine uh, vessel and they are they're doing fine. Now, what we do need to be very concerned about, though, is this over here. There is a designated vampire, and vampire designates an enemy missile. I don't know where that is. I can't see it now. It should be a little... Yeah, there we go. It's up over here. What they are shooting at, I don't know. So we are seeing some missiles that are flying in over here. We, You can see, we don't know much about them. They're going sort of this way. Uh, which would lead me to in the belief that they might be going for our literal combat ship here. Hmm, I dislike that. Okay, let's uh, try to go away from there. I'm not sure that that is the target. Could also be one of these Filipino vessels. I'm also not sure where they're coming from. It might be from these skunks over here. Although... That would be an enormous range, 170 kilometers. It could be that there is a submarine somewhere over here. It could also be that we've just seen them breach the surface. But it does seem to me that they're going in for the freedom over here. Right, um, let's check your sensors. Okay, what I want to do is turn off your radar. And, no, 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 turn that off. So hopefully that these missiles will not be spotting us. And we'll try to run away somewhat perpendicular here in the hope that they're not going to have a course correction. They're not emitting anything yet, but they might be emitting something soon. And as soon as these guys are starting to use their active terminal guidance, 
we do not want to be where they expect us to be because obviously that would not be the greatest thing for us. Right, what else is going on down here? We've got the Olo Berkey. Why are you travelling away? What has... Why are you going that way? Do come up north, please. Why are you travelling to the side here? Oh, that's really confusing. You're actually opening up. I don't think it has anything to do with these missiles there, but... Who knows? Okay, three aircraft over there. A couple of aircraft here over this group, so that seems almost like they're protecting them. We've lost track of these uh, missiles down here, but I'm fairly confident that they are somewhere heading down here. And the only viable target I can see is these guys. We'll also need to be a little bit careful here with these um, aircraft there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the sensors at least the radar sensors on the Arlo Berkey class. That will enable us to spot these aircraft up here um, and get a good target fix on them. I don't know what they are doing. I don't know, they are multi-role aircraft, but I don't know whether they can carry a good anti-ship missile. So general purpose bombs, rockets, that's not too much of a concern. Iron bombs, surface ships. Now this is, I think the most dangerous one, but four miles, that's not a long range. I doubt whether they're going to be able to get in in a four mile range of us. So you can see this little number two here, that denotes that there are already some missiles uh, being fired by the Oli Berkey automatically, these guys down here, uh, which are trying to reach these uh, J-10s. Hopefully they're going to be able to do that. Uh, maybe we can actually go ahead and uh, turn on the 3D view just for that. Because missiles are cool, aren't they? Right, so here we go. Yeah, you can see, whoops, you can see how beautifully the model these things are. Um, but you can see sort of they're rising down there from that uh, destroyer, which I think is a fairly lovely view. Right, yeah. And you can see how they're sort of being shot up and then they're leveling out a little bit as they're streaming towards these J-10s. That is lovely. You can also see, ah, that is that is a problem. You can see down here, so they have in fact spotted us. And you can see that these missiles are now using an active seeker to come towards us. Um, and they are sea skimming, so they're coming in very low above the surface of the sea, coming in towards our little combat ship. Um, we don't know whether we can really shoot down four of their missiles. That seems a little bit excessive to me. Now, since they have found us... Uh, why are you using radar? I thought I told you not to. Right, well then it's not a big surprise that they came, that they found us. Um, but maybe at least we can shoot them down. These guys do have some missiles, but not a lot of them. It's only 18 rims here. You can see it's firing one missile against each missile. So you've got missiles targeting missiles. But... There we go, you know, that's that's what we have right here. Right, hopefully they're going to be hitting their missiles so that this uh, little guy down here is out of danger. There's a hit, that's good. There's a first hit there. There's not a 100% probability that they would uh, hit them, but sometimes they do. Right, so yeah, fairly good accuracy here. And you can see all of the calculations here. So the base probability is 95%, but due to the intercept angle, that's adjusted downward slightly. Um, but yeah, we were fairly, fairly successful over here. Good, good result for RCA. There's another missile flying over here, which I don't know what that is or where it's coming from. Oh, it was probably fired by the by this guy against uh, some of the Filipino ships, which I realize must have gone down. Right, um, let's look at what's happening over here with these missiles, uh, because that is always interesting to see. So, there we go, 3D view. Come on. And please be centered on this. So, yeah, you can see the J-10s are a little bit to the left over here, uh, whereas our missiles are streaming in somewhat on a horizontal plane. But what I expect them to do is uh, take evasive maneuvers at any moment now, and that potentially means that they are going to yeah, you can see they're trying to dodge down there, going in, entering a very steep dive, dive over here, hoping to uh, basically distract our rims. 
But that did not uh, go too well for that one aircraft there. Um, and here's an interesting factor. So you can see we are firing two missiles at each of these guys. One of these missiles has hit. One of them is now without target. So that, that is going, that he's going to continue straight forward. If he had an active seeker, oh, there's another second hit. That's lovely. This guy, on the other hand, you can see him dropping down too by that lower number there. He's down to 30,000 feet or so now. So that's interesting. Lots of planes over here. We've got that guy there. We need to be somewhat careful with our helicopter here or UAV. Nice. Good hits there. Just one missile, one hit each time. That is lovely to see. Um, right. Okay. You guys, all of you actually. Um, can you go up here, please? And thank you. Should have taken care of you a little bit earlier, I guess. But I um, suppose it's fine. Right. There we go. Lots of Super Hornets here coming in. That's good. Uh, didn't really need them for these couple of aircrafts, but there's still so much around here. Um, and I'm very skeptical about what's going on. Right, well, we've got the one, the helicopter here with the Hellfires. Now, I'm guessing we can just directly try to come towards the enemy here. And I still don't get why this ship is not running where I need it to run. Engage defensively. I think you're trying to run away from some missile threat, which I don't see your subject to really. I'm not sure I can override that. I think as soon as you think that you're being targeted here. Oh, look at these guys though. They are definitely trying to come in down here. We've got the Triton here. Let's try to get it out of the way. And my guess we can go to cruise speed. Try to run away a little bit faster here. It's nice that they, and look at them, they are running at 520 knots. That's an indication that they are going somewhat after burning speed, or at least military speed. So, somewhat faster than they would normally do. Normal speed is around 480 knots. That's, that's the most speed efficient for most aircraft. So there you go. It's a patrol aircraft. Um, since you're that far down here, you know what, um, yeah, you're actually using your radar so that's lovely okay another hit over here a couple of further planes that are somewhat close ish j10 j10 yeah this one is barely there oh new vampires what's going on here look at that look at this okay so what is going down down here uh, let me try to explain so we are seeing a missile here and we are also seeing a submarine contact that submarine contact, if the missile is hostile, we know that that submarine contact is hostile too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this helicopter here. We're going to bring it up over here and try to engage the submarine. Now, what that missile is about, I don't know. Could be some anti-submarine war uh, or anti-air protection. Well, if it is, can I actually target the goblin here with the hellfire? I cannot because apparently it's still a little bit underwater. They can fire from underwater in cases like that. Now, the literal combat ships, you do not have any, any anti submarine warfare capabilities, do you? No, you don't. So that to me means this guy is probably firing missiles at one of our ships. Oh yeah it is. Oh yeah it is. It's not going to be the last missile, he's going to fire a couple of them. Or he might actually be firing at the Filipino ship, which also would be interesting. That would give us an, an opportunity to actually engage his missiles while they're flying through our envelope here. And potentially shoot some of them down. You think that you're engaged defensively, but I don't think you are, actually. Yeah, he's not breaching the surface. That is unfortunate. Right, yeah. You can see we are shooting missiles at his missiles, which is lovely because we are protecting our friends here, which is exactly what we need to do. Right, um, you guys, we've basically... More missiles going his way. Our defenses are holding for now. I would really like to take out that guy over there. He's his eyes and ears basically it's also nice to to come into the vicinity of these guys let's try to go here and there's the waters a little bit deeper there 
might give us a slightly better intercept because I am very much suspecting that this group here is hostile. Just like look at the formation here. You've got three ships, they're all streaming in the same direction at somewhat high speeds, 15 knots now, they were faster before. I think they're military. Could be a fishing flotilla, we don't know for sure. But I am gonna bet that that is what that is. Right, okay, helicopter is coming up there, that's good. We could be potentially a little bit more aggressive with our uh, speed. How far, far away is that? It's probably just like 60 miles or so, right? 40 miles actually. Yeah, I think you would be able to do that. Let's run there. Should be fine. Right, we have shot down a couple of aircraft, which is lovely. Um, and since that shooting over there has stopped, I'm actually going to turn the sound back on because it is actually not that bad. I mean, it's not it's not a great sound by any stretch of the imagination. Um, guys, you, you have no control over you. He's automatically designated. But you might be in trouble. I mean, this is a patrol aircraft and there's a fighter jet coming towards you. And this is his range. So I am thinking that you might be in trouble there. That guy up over here. Now, I think what I want to do is simply have you actually just engage it. Just, just engage it individually. I think that should be okay. You're also coming up there. That ship down here, that's a little bit of a threat, but I suppose it's okay. More missiles being targeted at him, and you can see he's also deviating from his uh, altitude of 36,000 feet uh, to something much more manageable. Triton doing fine. Let's uh, bring it a little bit closer. Ooh, and this time we have missed with both of our shots. And you can hear there's the missile launcher, so we are launching now further missiles. He's still diving down. Uh, which is, no, no, he's climbing back up. So he has basically thought, okay, the threat is over. I can go back to altitude. And he's going to be wrong about that because there is going to be some missiles streaming his way. Right. Um, the goblin contact here, uh, the submarine, has been a while since we've really spotted that. So not great. Six minutes or so. Yeah. But he's coming up back up. And he's now on actively after burner speed. He's coming in to what I think must be an attack run on something. He could be trying to sprint for our, well, either for our aircraft or our ship. Would he be really coming in with a single multi-role engine, uh, multi-role aircraft? Ah, speed is dropping. He's doing something else now. I can't read him. What I think he is doing is I think he is trying to intercept some of our aircrafts, either the helicopters or something else. And he needs to maintain a certain altitude just to keep them locked. How is our stuff down there coming? Well, it's coming, but you can see it's running at 480 knots and that is going to take one and a half to two hours till it arrives. So that's going to be a long while coming for that guy. Yeah, he's going to be in trouble. But these guys here have a very decent shot over here now. He's actually increasing in altitude. I don't know what he's doing. That is a very, very weird profile. He's extremely fast, which... Ooh, vampires. More vampires spotted. Now, where is that? Up over here. Missiles. Not great. A couple of missiles here. I'm not sure whether they have been fired at the ship, whether they have been fired by a submarine somewhere in the vicinity. Still looks to me a little bit like they're coming in from that ship over here. They're extremely slow too, aren't they? But you're just basically passing one another. They're not anti-air anti -air missiles, I think. Okay, what else? Oh, 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 yeah, there's further missiles streaming in towards the Filipino ship, and it is going down. So that's pretty unfortunate. I'm not sure whether they can re be reprogrammed. Looks like they're coming into the south. We've uh, shot down that aircraft. That's lovely. Okay, it seems like you can deviate. 
Really unsure what these missiles are. Uh, what's our spotting range here on air sensors? On you guys. Should be pretty good. Are you using your radar? Yeah, you are. Maybe you can only spot what's the front, so let's actually go that way. You might be also somewhat high. Uh, let's set you to 50,000 feet. Drop down a little bit. You can loiter. You don't need to burn that speed, uh, that, that uh, fuel. We don't know much about these guys, but I'm fairly sure that this guy is gonna shoot down. Yeah, and there you can see there's an actual missile in the air. That's an AA missile. You can see it's uh, rising very high, actually, 80,000 feet or so, and starting to drop as this guy is only at 24,000 feet. So, yeah, definitely trying to come in there. Not sure where all of these missiles here are going to go. Uh, you know what we're actually going to try to do then is uh, try to do that here again and have you guys run perpendicular because I'm still afraid that you might be targeted here. And we do not have... Guys, just do not use any of these radars, please. What the what on earth is going on? Have you... Have you... No, you really do insist on using radars. And notice I'm not using MCON, so it's not the group-wide policy, but it's still apparently an issue. Right, this guy is going to come down. Weapon Seeker, yeah, you can you can see he's, he's closing in, he's going to die. But what about these missiles? That I don't know. Well, well, well. Tankers are still in the air, that's good. You guys could potentially come a little bit more like that. You guys, I'm tr gonna try to sneak you in behind these guys and, and hopefully get the uh, the surveillance plane. That is really a big force multiplier. Yeah, Filipino ship has gone down, as we expected. Mm, actually, I do need to run you that way, otherwise you're gonna be running into the torpedo boat there, uh, into the submarine there. You are 25 miles from target. You are currently going 150 miles, so 10 minutes or so. Another missile warning. Again down here. That is probably going to come for the LTM here. No! And another one. So he's always firing them in salvos, uh, which is understandable. You're going south. So, you might be going for the Ala Berkey here, which is generally a re relatively well defended craft. We can't do much about that, unfortunately, because we've got basically nothing in the vicinity. What I can do, though, is pull these guys a little bit closer to towards uh, one another. You are cavitating if we are running at full speed, but I'm going to accept that fact and see what we've got. You guys, um, I'm going to ask you to actually do employ everything that I've got. Yeah, the submarine definitely is still in the vicinity. 15 minutes ago it was, but we still saw the launches from the same position. So I am going to bet that they are over here. Now, what else can we do? What we could try to do is disable the forward airfield here a little bit. And I'm thinking that that is something that might be at least useful. I'm not too sure that that is going to work and it's definitely, oh no, 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 no. Um, that's definitely going to present, that is wrong. Um, that is definitely going to present some form of escalation. Well, let's see what we could do here. So we've got the Ola Berkey, and it does have quite a couple of to uh, Tomahawks. So let's actually allocate one of them for both the radar installation and the second side. I think the airport itself we're not going to target. But let's see. Probably they do have some anti air there, and it's not going to be that useful. And um, by the way, notice how these guys are doing that funny thing where they're not going in a straight line, uh, but rather going in a slightly different uh, line so that they're not that uh, 
that easy to detect or they don't give away the position um, of the enemy here. Right, are you going the same way? Yeah, more or less. So that's lovely. Okay, so they're going to come in from the same direction there. That is going to be extremely helpful and uh, hopefully at least overwhelm them. It's going to be a, a long shot here. I mean, these guys are sea skimming. They're going to try to come in very low 200 feet. That's like 70 meters off the ground. So hopefully that's going to be uh, working out in our favor. But we really do not know. Right, the Trishin. This could be anti-air missiles. Some submarines do have anti-air missiles. I'm just really not sure that that is what we're facing here. We're seeing one aircraft here. We could of course try to target these air bases here as well, but I'm <laughs> even less sure that that is gonna be a good idea. But you know what, that being said, I think now is a very good place to put in a cut. Let's see what these missiles are gonna come in here against the Alaburki. Let's see whether we're gonna be able to take out some of these Chinese installations and what other missiles we've got here in the air. For now, thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you around next time. Bye bye guys.